Hey everyone, in this video I'll introduce how the hydrogen and hydroxide ion concentrations are mathematically related in an acid or base solution. This is the simpler version of the explanation and will not mention chemical equilibrium. First, remember that you can use the hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion concentrations to identify a solution as acidic or basic. In the first beaker, there's equal amounts of H plus and OH minus because that is pure water, a neutral solution. If we took that pure water, however, and added an acid like HCl, that HCl would ionize to produce more H plus. So if you count the particles in this solution, there's more H pluses than OH minus ions, which is what makes it acidic. The same thing in the last beaker, except now we've added the base sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide and bases like it ionize to produce extra OH minus, making the OH minus concentration greater than the H plus. That's what makes the solution basic. So in this video, we'll look at the mathematical relationship that exists between the concentration of H plus and the concentration of OH minus in any aqueous acid or base solution. As it turns out, the relationship between these two concentrations is inverse and modeled by an equation. That equation tells us that the H plus concentration times the OH minus concentration always has to equal this very small number, 1 times 10 to the minus 14. This equation will hold true for any typical acid or base solution, and it's also one of our key ideas for this video, so make sure you pause and take a minute to write it down. Here's some bar graphs to help understand what this equation tells us. Let's bring back my beaker from the start of the video that was an acid because there's more H plus than OH minus. What we know now is that because of the inverse relationship between these two particles, when the H plus was increased, not only did the H plus go up, but that also caused the OH minus to decrease and go down. This is gonna be true for acidic solutions. It's also true for basic solutions like my sodium hydroxide, but now we can say that because the OH minus was increased, it caused the H plus to decrease and become even lower. In the middle, of course, is a neutral solution like water where the two quantities remain equal. We can, of course, also use this equation to do some math ourselves, like this example that says a glass of lemonade has an H plus concentration of 4.3 times 10 to the minus 5 molarity and asks us to calculate the OH minus concentration and then tell if it's acidic or basic. Here's a couple important details about this formula before we start to use it. Two brackets, just like any parenthesis in a math equation, even though we don't always write it, implies that the two quantities are multiplied. Also, these square brackets in chemistry, anytime you see those, the intention of that square bracket is to indicate that you're supposed to use the concentration of that particle in the form of molarity or capital M, which is helpful because that's the value and the unit we were given in the problem. So from here, it's actually pretty simple. You take the value you were given, in this case, it's the H plus concentration, plug that in and solve for whatever is missing, the OH minus. So here's what it looks like with the H plus concentration plugged in. Now all I've got to do is rearrange algebraically to get OH minus by itself. To do that, since this is just multiplication, I'll simply divide both sides by the 4.3 times 10 to the minus 5. Dividing both sides by this value causes it to cancel out here, leaving behind my desired result, which is simply the OH minus concentration equal to these two quantities divided on the other side. So in the final step, we just have to divide 1 times 10 to the negative 14 by 4.3 times 10 to the minus 5. Be careful when you're putting in these scientific notation numbers into your calculator. Most calculators have a special way to do it, and it is not hitting times 10 exponent negative 14. Here's some typical calculators so I can show you the buttons. When you go to put in, say, 4.3 times 10 to the minus 5, you want to hit 4.3, but instead of doing times 10 in the exponent button, you're going to hit 4.3 second function EE. This is the calculator's way of recognizing times 10 to the power of something. On this calculator, it's the same buttons, hit 4.3 second function EE. On the calculator, it should look like this. That's the same thing as saying 4.3 times 10 to the minus 5. 
So it's a good idea to try this on whatever calculator it is that you're going to be using and just make sure you get the correct final answer of 2.3 times 10 to the minus 10. Remember these square brackets mean that the units will be in molarity as a concentration. Now that I've calculated my OH minus concentration, I can answer the last part of the question, which says, is it acidic or basic? To do that, we just have to follow our original rules and decide which value is bigger, the H plus or the OH minus. I've got those two side by side to help figure it out. You do have to be a little bit careful. Some people look at the exponent of 10 and assume because 10 is bigger than five that OH minus is the larger number. But remember, these are negative exponents. So a negative 10 actually means that this decimal moves 10 places to the left. That's a very, very small number. And even though the H plus concentration is small too, it is bigger than the OH minus. That puts us in this second category right here when the H plus concentration is greater than the OH minus, the solution will be acidic. That wraps it up for this video. Here's a brief summary.